Hey, happy Monday to everybody. June the 15th, we are halfway through June and uh, things are getting better and better in the sporting world. We finally had the return of the PGA. I'm really excited to be able to talk today on golf. It was 13 weeks without tournament golf. Uh, we obviously saw a couple of foursomes, a uh, little fun fun days out there, but uh, this is the real turn, return of the real deal, and we are thrilled. It was funny, no fans, and we, um, <laughs> yeah, definitely we're having to try to get used to that, um, social distancing guidelines, and a lot of the um, COVID-19 stuff was prominent and on display. You could see a microphone set up, and a lot of guys would go and uh, make some comments on their own uh, if they did some interviews. Um, a lot more interviews actually than normal uh, with with the guys. And uh, wow, crowded leaderboard at the top, uh, 13 players within three strokes at one point uh, during that final round. So uh, exciting golf. Um, very great. Um, we are uh, going to be, yeah, we're joined here uh, this morning with Casey O'Donnell. He's going to break down golf he's going to be a resident analyst be able to um, shed some light on uh, what he sees watching the tournament and um, I had a chance to play golf with Casey um, a couple weeks ago and it was great uh, we got to go out on the links and play uh, he's been playing quite a bit I hear uh, in Victoria and uh, we're really thrilled to have him join us today Casey welcome to the show thanks Darren yeah very lucky to be out here in uh, Vancouver Island. There's so much golf out here. It's just, it's a beautiful area of the world for sure. Yeah, God's country over there. Yeah, um, I think uh, they get the most sunshine uh, on the, the whole, in the whole country. So you're lucky you're going to be able to. Yeah, even when it golfer. rains, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, um, yeah, well, we finally got the return of tournament golf. Uh, we're yeah. pretty excited. Uh, golf fans like me and yourself uh, get to finally see guys teed up for real. 13 weeks off, a long, long stretch. Um, it is a long I, know, I know I didn't really know how things were going to turn out for guys, if they were going to be able to be sharp. Uh, but uh, it was pretty good. I think the talent level was was really good there. And uh, a crowded leaderboard at the top. I was mentioning just a few minutes ago, 13 players within three strokes at oh, some point crazy. yesterday. So, yeah. uh, wow, it was amazing. What'd you thought? What, what are your thoughts? Well, there's, yeah, you have a lot of players that are very good and they have a lot of stuff in their personal life, um, as you know. So you, you get players like Berger, who won, was very was probably hungrier than, than say, a Kepka or even Bryson, for that matter. Um, yeah. Bryson's go. he just, he, he's changing so much in his swing. He's, he's working, like, his body's so much bigger. He, he will get there, but you can just kind of see he's got, like, a bit of, like, rigidity coming in to some of those shots where... If he just kind of can settle down that little bit, he'll just he'll he'll lap the field probably on a few tournaments. But it's yeah, just, well, first one uh, back. he he really took advantage of that time off. Uh, they they were saying fifteen to twenty pounds of muscle. Oh, he put on his body. He looked like a transformed. Like Justin Rose, he's just like twice the size of him. I know, know. incredible. Yeah, so he was bombing it. Uh, he definitely has to work on his short game as much as he did uh, working on his physique. But um, yeah. I, I can see him, you know, being able to hit some of the tournaments where it's a little more wide open, a little more forgiving on some of your tee shots, and he'll be able to, you know, come into some of the greens with some wedges and be able to dial it in really tight. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think he'll be scoring. Um, you know, I think sometimes his putting has let him down, and he's, uh, you know, he's just got this scientific uh, way of going about the his, his game. But, uh, yeah, he's got so much talent. It's only a matter of time overanalyzing probably every shot that he has and you just see some of those where players playing with feel they're like okay a wind gust and they just kind of like mid swing gusted a little bit more but he's kind of only got that calculation in his head and then when it when it flies in and, and it doesn't go the way he wants it's he's <laughs> there's that little bit of a play for sure yeah yeah there's sure, a lot yeah. of players what was it there was like 16 players shot four rounds in the 60s wow yeah that's like, pretty that impressive. Was a good, yeah yeah, I mean, to, to have that layoff and be able to be still shooting in the 60s, uh, you know, there was really low scores throughout the tournament. Uh, you know, it was impressive. Uh, I think um, sometimes fans, uh, you know, are 
obviously a really good thing, but sometimes fans can, you know, be distracting. Uh, maybe they were able to focus a little bit tighter, um, you know, hear a lot more um, from their caddies. And, you know, uh, it, it seemed uh, seemed like it, they were dialed in right away, and I was surprised. I thought it would be uh, – we'd see a lot of rusty guys. A couple shots there, too, that would have been in the grandstands or whatever, uh, would have stopped by the crowd, and they're, they're that much further back or across the, across the cart path. So – really adding a little different element to some of those uh, approach shots they have. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the biggest example for me where the uh, fans didn't play a part was the hole-in-one uh, first day from Kang. And he, Crickets. He, uh, didn't know it went in. <laughs> he didn't even know it went in. He was trying – then he started trying to virtually high-five fans and his caddy and everything. It was uh, – that was really weird yeah. and strange. Uh, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, for sure. And then we'll uh, – Xander coming down the stretch there on 15 makes that bomb for bogey. Like that was, wow. Oh, I don't know what that was. 30 plus feet probably for sure. That and was the next amazing. Ball knocks it in for, from 20 feet for birdie. And then the power lip out, like just oh, torture, you know, wow. like you to see it happen a little bit. Like we've all been there, but just in that pressure cooker, when it just does that, it's just, it can be cruel. Oh, that's, right that's got to be so tough. He, you know, oh. he, he, he had the lead going into the day and he, you know, he had hit some really long putts, uh, make some birdies and he looked really, really strong. And, you know, you're, you're only about, I think they said three, three and a half feet away on that putt. And, well, that was it, and yeah. Yeah. It does a 360 around the hole and half the goes ball out. the hole and it just like a hair lighter or a hair any which way it's in. It's just. Yeah. Well, the, the the crazy thing was uh, almost every guy had a chance to be in that playoff. Uh, oh. They burned the lip on 18, almost every one of them. And they, there yeah. could have been a five, six way playoff. It was uh, oh, pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was something else. Like that was very exciting for, for the first, uh, for the first tournament back. Couldn't ask for a better, uh, better turnout. I was glad to see Daniel Berger. Uh, he was he was really looking sharp going into the break. He had three top tens before um, the pandemic hit, and uh, so he was able to keep his game sharp. Obviously, um, you know, great young guy. He came in with with Spieth and Thomas in 2011. Uh, you know, all highly touted, obviously. And yep. uh, you know, Spieth and Thomas have had a bit more success. Well, quite a bit more success <laughs> than him, but. Yeah. Um, you know, he was able to, you know, pull out his third w victory. I could see it was really emotional for him. He was uh, thrilled that all that hard work had paid off. Absolutely, yeah. And being, being he was like a little bit further back in the in the pack too, so kind of give a little bit less pressure as being in that final group. You can kind of get in there, post the number, and then let let someone else let someone else do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was uh, amazing footage when they had uh, him standing on the tower and 18 looking at Morikawa and Morikawa was looking over that putt and if he, he nails it he wins the tournament and he missed it and all of a sudden you see holy cow Daniel realizes wow I, I got a playoff here I, I better go get ready <laughs> <Better scramble>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's yeah so that, that's kind of good too you're not sitting around if he's waiting for too long then you're sitting on the sitting waiting 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 you get a little more nervous but you can just kind of jump right into it it's Takes a little bit of that edge off. <laughs> you got to feel bad for Morikawa. He, oh, uh, you know, he had two chances to win that tournament, and uh, you know, really, really short putts and, and missed it. Um, you know, he's he's looked really good uh, last year when he came in as as a rookie. His third week on the tour, he finished second place. Four weeks later, he gets his first win. Uh, just looking really, really strong coming out of university and college, and. I, uh, you know, I, I thought he was going to pull it off. Uh, he had two, you know, golden opportunities to win. Oh, absolutely. I would have put money on it for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of money, I heard you uh, did pretty good earlier in the tournament. How did things go the last couple of days? I know oh, you said you, so you hit a good I, I parlay. Had a long, <laughs> What's that? I had, a couple long, I had a couple long shots. I did win an eight-game parlay there on Friday, which was nice. Wow. So, yeah, it just – well, when you bet that many – you never know what's going to happen, but it was, it was, that's a good feeling getting the eight correct on the two. Yeah, parlay. wow, good for you. Uh, any 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 of that parlay you can uh, remember that start, stands out where you're like, uh oh, uh, am I going to pull this off? And it, and it no, just not right to, at the end? by the end of it, it was pretty well wrapped up. There was they were both up like with three shots with with not much to play. Um, oh man, amazing. amazing. Yeah, so it was, oh. I, I don't know. I, I was thinking Corey Connors would have played better. He he mm -hmm. had a really good like Friday. Unfortunately, what did he shoot? He shot seventy one. 
on Sunday, but he had, yeah, what rounds of 66, 67, 67 in the first three, first three rounds. He was right there and he came yeah. back far enough where he could post a number and, and see what happens. Um, yeah, well, it's great to see the Canadian. He, he, he really looked good coming into the weekend. Uh, you know, he, he had a good, great showing. Uh, yeah, but, you know, when you, when you can't get into the 60s on Sunday, you're going to start falling back. Uh, but, That's yeah, great, great showing. I, I, I see that he's in the tournament this coming week. And, yeah, uh, yeah I hope he can well, keep at it. Too, like, he, even, he won on that Monday. He got into the Monday qualifier in his first and won that tournament. Like, Amazing, and then eh? parlayed that into uh, playing in the Masters. <laughs> like that's so crazy the game is you just like you'd be that good go for the monday qualifier next thing you know you're playing in the masters isn't like, that amazing yeah that's is. the crazy thing about golf you can think of guys that showed up they're the seventh alternate and all of a sudden all these guys they're pulling out and they they got a chance and you know next you team. give a guy a chance all of a sudden yeah. he he steals steals it away from everybody and all of a sudden his career just takes off uh you know yeah. you get a win on the pga tour just Oh. You know, starts getting you into all these tournaments, like all you say, the, the Masters, and all you know, your whole career can just project yeah. up from there. Absolutely, yeah. You start rolling up all good, like burgers, putts. They were just perfect speed on all of them, like well, all week, yeah. pretty well, like just barely trickling in, and like so, just just really had that feel down compared to like a lot of players. Yeah, there was a it was an amazing star-studded field. I guess uh, guys were just really chomping out the bit to uh, get back at it. Uh, but man, was there a huge amount of guys that missed the cut. I'm just going to I'm just going to roll off a, a sure. list of guys real quick and just, just, I can't believe the star power that didn't make the weekend. It must've been tough for uh, the tournament organizers thinking, Oh my God, we had, we had like 140 of the top 150 or something crazy. And, and all of a sudden all these guys are gone. Uh, let's see. It was DJ was out. John Rahm made, didn't, didn't make it. Mickelson didn't make it. Sergio Kucher, McDowell, the defending champion, Kevin Nall was out. Leishman, Jason Day, Ricky Fowler, uh, Webb Simpson. Like, oh, my God. Uh, you know, that's, that's the one brutal thing about golf, especially when the fans are coming. You're paying big money, and, uh, you know, you're, exactly. you work during the week. You're trying to come in the weekend and see your favorite guy, and all of a sudden he's cut. He's gone. Uh, cruel, <laughs> cruel game it is. I think it was Mickelson's shades that were throwing him off, though. Like, that's quite the look he's pulling off there. I know. Yeah, that was strange. Uh, I, yeah. He might have pulled it off that day him and Tiger and Brady and uh, that would have been Manning the time were, were going, but it was so rainy, he, he didn't need the shades that day. But, yeah, uh, I've never seen Phil look like that. Uh, maybe yeah. he'll change things up when, when he tees he it up next time. or something? Is that what was happening? Or? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, that – that made me laugh. I think you uh, texted me something about that over the weekend. And, uh, yeah, it was funny to watch. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I'm not sure. Who knows what that was. But, but uh, you know, he, he, he's almost a senior. He's uh, getting ready yeah. to tee it up on the Champions Tour soon. So. Losing it in his old age. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that other guy? Uh, uh, Cole Crack there. What, he's like yeah. 60, 65, 64 on the weekend. Amazing. Like yeah, what a, what a great comeback. Yeah, holy oh, cow. Man. He had it dialed in. Yeah, oh, uh, sure. he just needed a couple more holes probably, and he would have been in that playoff. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's, that, it's, that, it's that, really that, nice when you can sh when you can shoot low on moving day, and then you can actually even, you know, you know, just back it up uh, with a with a Sunday oh, yeah. round. Wow, you know, you're gonna move up the leaderboard. A lot of guys play more cautious on Sunday, and they have a hard time shooting shooting really low. But um, yeah, that's that's impressive. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if he's teeing it up this week, but. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking not, I'm forward not sure. to a lot of the golf coming up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 they're going to uh, Hilton Head this, this coming great. week. Um, South Carolina is always uh, lots of great golf there. And, um, yeah, I, I see a lot yeah, of like really talented guys there. on that field, too. Did, did you yeah. notice the field at all? Uh, that I, have I haven't looked that, that far ahead and we'll see what's going on there. I, I love my life day by day right now. <laughs> <laughs> But no, that hill had the nice course, man. That, that that finishing hole is beautiful, almost like a Pebble Beach kind of look to it. So yeah, no kidding. Yeah. yeah, there was a couple things I wanted to also touch on. Um, Xander Shoffley, um, you know, I wow, I was really um, yeah, I was really just shocked at him hitting uh, some huge, huge putts, getting some birdies, uh, being able to oh. you know really really get in the mix and look like he can pull off the win, and then. Wow, golf can be a cruel game when you oh. uh, 
miss little putts like that. Yes, wow. Sure. I, I can't believe it didn't fall. Just it did a 360 around the cup. It like it looked like it looked, like half of it looked like it was in. Yeah. Like just that's what happened. <laughs> that, that's amazing. Just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> After uh, yeah. Three, like 60 feet of putts on the last two holes, this is uh, a three, three footer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know that. Uh, he, he he got in trouble, uh, hit that long, long bogey putt. It looked like he was getting oh. a double and oh, all of a sudden sure. drains oh, well. that. And you think, yeah. holy cow, you know, he salvaged salvaged it. And this is it. He's going to be able to be in the playoff or maybe win it. And then, boom. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, golf can just Look really good. rip your heart out, you know. You're happy oh, one yeah. moment and then uh, one hole later, oh, things are just really rough. Um, yeah, uh, what else do I want to touch on? Yeah, I – I was pretty. I was very impressed with, with the way the coverage was. Um, yep. You know, golf. Golf's a funny game because they're always telling you to be quiet. You know, they they want you to, you know, stand still, not move, not make any noise when a guy's taking a shot. So those distractions are gone for the guys. But do do you think um, there's going to be some players that that really miss it? Do you think like Tiger when he tees it up? Well, I don't know. Sure. He always seemed to really really thrive on that energy uh you know he'd make a putt and you'd see him fist pump and and jump around and you know it seemed like it would just energize him for the next hole you think it's going to harm some guys that the the crowd's not there oh absolutely like guys like Kepka or rose even like they're just they feed off that crowd they, they've been in that pressure cooker they love that they love that feeling like whereas like a, a younger player and not much experience is going to come in they're going to they're going to feel that pressure a lot more yeah. When you make when you make that twelve footer for par on sixteen and like no one no one even claps. You just made a crazy up and down from the bunker and no one no one's doing anything. That that kinda it can be a little disheartening almost. Like you're still yeah. riding that wave, but you you're not you're not getting that amp from the crowd, and then you step on that next tee and just stomp on one. Um that energy's not there. So that's that's been that's gonna be a little challenging for some. That's where you're gonna get a lot of players from that don't have that experience gonna be able to, to win, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It could post for a really interesting season. Uh, you know, I think, you know, all you guys do tee it up with their friends and, you know, obviously there's not crowds around when they're just playing on their home courses or, you know, with their buddies, wherever they're at, um, you know, it, 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 that element's not there, but you know, Tiger, you know, he's just his whole entire career. He's just been followed by mobs of fans, just a massive amount of guys. And, and, he, you know, he, he definitely got into a little bit of a, uh, with troubles with the fans here and there, Steve Williams would have to yell at guys for, you know, keep quiet and all that. But, yeah. but um, you know, I, I just saw him always feed off the energy of the crowd and just, and just, you know, just keep going and keep going birdie after birdie after birdie and take these victories. He's, he's one victory shy of the all time record. And, uh, and everybody's wondering, you know, when he's going to masters. It still could be, but I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's I'd, I'd say he's gone in for that. He'll be looking for the major to, to seal the deal, but he'll he'll take any win for sure. But his focus, I'm sure, is I'm sure it was on the Masters, but unfortunately, COVID. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll in see. November, yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, well, I'm 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 really excited about the the rest of the uh, the rest of the year now. Um, you know, that was a long stretch without golf. We got we had those two foursome matches. Uh, you know, there was just a little tease. Um, yeah. You know. Wasn't wasn't the same, not at all. And uh, you know, to actually see tournament golf back, and um, you know, obviously, I want the fans there. Um, you know, I was talking with other people recently about other sports, and you know, there's there's the PGA and many sports are missing out on that young fan getting a chance to see his heroes and his idols play the sport for the first time, and it can make lifelong fans. Uh, you know, I remember. My first tournament seeing live, I remember, you know, the thrill of, of it. Uh, just, yeah. wow, uh, you know, to, to not to like miss out on, you know, a, a bit driver. of a generation. What's that? Sorry, just hearing like a player crack a driver, like a, a professional hit, in the, coming out of a shoot, it's dead quiet, and they just like, oh, that, that sound is just incredible. Oh, it oh. sure is, yeah. yeah. Blew me away. That, that, uh, that helped me even be yeah. a lifelong fan. You became a fan too, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you you were uh, out in Ontario. You got a, I think you got a chance to uh, see the Canadian Championship out there. Uh, Ontario always uh, kept it for many many years, but we had it out here in in Vancouver. And uh, you know, I, I seized the opportunity to go and check it out, and it was it was amazing. Uh, you know, I love seeing live 
love golf. Uh, to me, it's 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 better. But uh, you know, when you are sitting at home, you get to see every shot from all the competitors. When you're on the course, you got to pick and choose uh, where you're going to be, and you got to yeah. be strategic. Especially when the you know the tournament's really really a lot of fans and you know hard to negotiate your way around the course, but yeah. just the electricity when a guy will drain a shot from the fairway or get a hole in one or just an amazing putt to seal a deal. Uh, it's it, it's just there's nothing like it. I, I can't even believe the amount of excitement I've had seeing live golf. Well, yeah, that's it. Like you're gonna either follow a group around or you're gonna pick a hole where you can watch them watch them play. Yeah. Even just watching the players like in between shots. The stuff you don't see on TV, like it's just amazing. Like, remember the first time I saw John Daly play, couldn't believe the speed he played. Like, he hit, whack, whatever. He's not doesn't look like he's even paying attention. He's got a six footer for par. Just step up, put it in. Like all day. That's like the barely very quick player. It yeah. Amazing to watch. Yeah, I've got a funny story about Daly. He came here to uh, do just a little two day tournament. They uh, gave him an appearance fee. I heard it was $100,000 just to show up. So, you know, hey, why not? I'll tee this, tee this up. He flew in <laughs> on the helicopter, landed right on the course, teed it up and uh, I don't know, just didn't see him into it. Um, he, he was doing okay and then he stepped up to a tee and blasted one big hook into the woods. Uh, everybody went to look for it, couldn't find it. So he walked back to the tee, hit a provisional, hit another one. And he just kept blasting him either right or left into the woods. He ended up carding a 13 on the hole. And uh, that was it for him. He just didn't care about the tournament anymore. He was going to collect his 100000 and get out of there. But it was uh, just unbelievable to hear the, the smack of the ball off his driver and just see it yeah. take orbit, you know, 350 yards. And this is, you know, way back before lots of guys were bombing it like that. And yeah. it, just, it just blew our minds. Oh, yeah, he, he was flying at 40 to 60 yards past it, all the players. Like, I watched at Glen Abbey, I saw him hit one, like, on the same hole, but 60 yards further than Tiger Woods. Um, 60 yards? Yeah, wow. like, just, like, stupid. Like, Tiger hit one probably 3, 310, and then Daly flew one in there at 360. Amazing, amazing. Like, yeah, like you said, back when no, not everyone was hitting at 350-plus, you know? Yeah. I had a chance to uh... – Teed up with you at Olympic View. Uh, tell yeah. the golfing fans uh, what they'll what they'll get at Olympic View. It's such a beautiful course, and wow, is it is it a challenge? Uh, you know, yeah. Mention your your local yeah, course. Olympic I think you're a gorgeous you're course, to. man. It's uh, very uh, target golf off the tee and into the green for sure. You, you definitely the back nine is is very tight. Um, last time I played, I uh, we teed off on ten, unfortunately, and it just kicked the crap out of me. Like it's it's very challenging especially like you come in the greens the greens are firm so if you don't land it in the right spot they roll past and then there's there's just trouble all around so you really <laughs> you really gotta really gotta know what uh know your trajectories and yeah and know your yardage is for sure the greens are very fast they're nice you said you were gonna try to get out today are you going there or are you uh, i don't know what going teeing up somewhere else uh today it's a little bit rainy here so that i'm gonna just play that one by ear i'm, I'm just up in nanaimo right now so i think i'll uh Oh, I, see. I, may, I may go to Duncan Meadows on the way back down, just go play nine. Okay, well, yeah, I've heard some good things about those courses, too. Lots oh, of yeah. beautiful courses over on the island, folks. Uh, get over there. Uh, it's a really great destination, amazing amount of great golf. Uh, you got to get your tee times early, like a Monday now, uh, you know, because of this COVID and they're spacing out the tee times. But um, golf's, golf's a game that I don't think should be affected by COVID very much. You're no. going to always have social distancing. You're going to have the opportunity to, you know, give the guy his space, even on the tee boxes. Uh, you Absolutely. know, when we went out this pa the, the past weekend and the weekend before, they, they staggered the tee times quite significantly. So the guys were out and playing. You wouldn't really run into them at all. You wouldn't have guys behind you. And it, it was actually a little bit better for, you know, I, I don't love I, it when I'm standing on a tee box and there's 12 guys standing around trying to, you know, yeah. get ready to hit. It's a lot better when it's spaced You're nervous out, in my enough as it is. <laughs> you don't yeah. have 12 people watching. No but the, guy was, the pro was saying that they're, um, they're just one less foursome per hour is basically how they're running that. Oh, so okay. it's, it, it doesn't seem like that much, but he said it really, like, adds up, like, being able to space it at the – Space at the tee time and getting wow, that distance. Wow, that's it. I, I thought it was more more than that. Cause I it sure did. too. I think at one point it was like a lot significantly less, but now it's it's a bit one one foursome per hour, so less. Okay. So not not too bad. You're gonna have to um, 
talk to the the pro at Olympic View, and maybe we'll uh, we'll, we'll do a, like a three way call, and he can uh, really go the ins and outs and uh, promote promote that local course. I think that that's the one you're you're close to uh, when you're yeah. I'm just yeah, I'm just down the road from there. Okay. Yeah. So that one's yeah. They got a really good practice facility there too. Like it's just it's a really nice setup there. And what's Duncan Meadows like? Tell tell the viewers and listeners about that. It's it's an ace wide open course, which is which is to be honest, is completely different than Olympic View. You can kind of, you can spray that ball just about anywhere, which is nice. And, and yeah, nice. It's just in really good shape. Um, nice. Not particularly long course, but it's just it's a nice it's a nice challenge for sure. And, and like I said, you can spray it, <laughs> which can be good for most golfers. You know, <laughs> yeah, right. For your ball for an hour. <laughs> I just pulled up the uh, list of golfers that are teeing it up this Thursday for uh, the Hilton Head Tournament. Um, yeah, it's called the RBC Heritage Tournament, and uh, RBC obviously is a huge supporter of golf, huge supporter of the Canadian Open. We see a lot of guys are sporting it on their shirts and their hats as, as big sponsors, and RBC has been fantastic for golf, so great to see them as the title sponsor there. Uh, yeah, let me just list off the top golfers that I see here and uh, your thoughts on who should be the favorite coming in. Uh, they got Rory, Justin Thomas, DeChambeau's uh, teeing it up again, John Rahm, Xander Shoffley, Morikawa, Sanjay M, Matsuyama, Justin Rose, Webb Simpson, Berger's there again, the defending champ, which is always tough to go back to back. I don't know yeah. if anybody does that, but uh, Patrick Reed, Jordan Spieth, Kripka, DJ, Woodland, Kucher, Fina, Fowler, like, you know, yeah. Kokrak's in there, Lowry, holy cow. Uh, it looks like all the all the same guys that were right at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, I think Spieth will play good. He played really well um, this weekend. Um, yeah. He's starting to come around a little bit. He, he's been a little shaky there on Sunday, but not nothing too outrageous. He uh, really looks like he's coming into coming into form. It's been a yeah. while since he's been, been on top, so I think the time off maybe helped uh, – Ground him maybe a little bit more. Yeah, he has so much talent. It just blows me away that he's not consistent uh, every week, and he has his downs. Uh, it it yeah. just shocks me because you know I see him play, and he's just so solid tee to green. And wow, um, you know, uh, he he had definitely has a little bit of trouble putting. But uh, I noticed a stat here that I'm going to read out. Uh, he had six putts that he hit over 20 feet, and he uh, hit that. That was more than the entire season up oh, to this when point. He's before, rolling so. it, he's rolling it so good. Like he's he's phenomenal from twenty feet now. Yeah, unreal, hey. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna have to uh talk uh, either right before this uh upcoming tournament or right yeah. after, break it down like this. Uh I can't wait. Sure. Um uh, it's it's great the golf's back. That thirteen weeks was torture. Um the, those two little uh foursomes just weren't enough for me and you know, to be able to know that guys are making it and going to be going to going to be able to tee it off on Thursday and start the tournament. Well, um, I hope a lot more guys that I want to see uh, make the cut this next tournament. Uh, oh, I was absolutely. really disappointed that so many missed it, but but it oh. but it turned out amazing. Like yeah. down the stretch, I couldn't believe how many guys had an opportunity to win that. Well, I could. Yeah. When you when oh, couldn't believe it. Yeah. There were on 15 like that. Could have gone any which way. Start making putts or missing putts. It's just, yeah, a handful of guys easily could have won that. Yeah. Well, anything more you want to add, Casey? Before I send you on your way, uh, I know you got to get out and tee it off pretty soon. So uh, yeah, man, warm up, stretch it, keep loose, and uh, <laughs> try not to snap hook any into the trees like daily. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. We're gonna uh, have you quite often, I think, through the season yeah. here and. Uh, they're going to be coming fast and furious. A lot of guys said they're going to be teeing it off 10, 11 times in, in the next 13 weeks. So that's uh, a yeah. you know, very busy schedule for guys. Hopefully there aren't any injuries and, you know, everybody can be strong and we get to see a leaderboard like we did on this past oh, Sunday. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If every weekend's like this past one, yeah, it's going to be an exciting summer for sure. Awesome, Darren. Okay, well, well thanks. yeah, thanks, thanks so much for joining me. I, I appreciate it. It was really great. I can't wait to yeah. – Post it for everybody and uh, have them get make some comments. And, uh, yeah, please join me a lot. Uh, this was really, really, really fun. Awesome, buddy. Yeah. Cheers. I'll be talking to you soon. Okay. All right. Take, Take care. care Thanks, Casey. Bye, -bye. Bye for now. Wow, that was great. Yeah, that's always uh, fantastic when we can, we can have a guy that can, can break it down like that. Uh, he's out there 
playing golf on a daily basis all the time through through uh, being in Victoria. It's it's an amazing uh, amazing destination to be able to play all the time. I used to live over there and tee it up quite a bit. And you know, I know all, a lot of the guys uh, you know that live there. They they're trying to get out all the time, especially this time of year. They want to tee it up four or five times a week. And um, yeah, uh, wow. Uh, I've been re-energized for the game of golf. Uh, I tried to play a little bit over the pandemic, and it wasn't there. It just wasn't um, possible to, to tee it up, so I missed it. And then all of a sudden, you know, courses started coming back, and here we go. So, hey, um, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, yeah, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the like buttons um, on YouTube, and and uh, find me on your local podcast wherever you get your podcast platforms we will um yeah uh we will have an opportunity to talk again later on this week and uh golf fans tune in i'll do a a, a short breakdown of the tournament heading up and then we'll probably have casey coming back for the next on uh, next monday to um talk about this rbc heritage classic thanks everybody take care have a great day love you bye for now